Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft episode. Uh, in front of me is my Frankenstein's monster of a refinery. Um, we've got ourselves sort of similar setup to what we had. Well, we only had one side of it before. Uh, now we have a heavy fuel side and a light fuel side. And this bit here is what produces the um, hydrogen and oxygen from from water uh, obviously we're not using the oxygen that's just being piped up to the chest the hydrogen cells however even though it's connected to these two it'll only pump into uh, these chemical reactors uh, unfortunately it doesn't round robin it seems to put seems to put them all into this one first so we might just have to flood the system with um with empty cells at some point uh, got two diesel generators under the floor powering the whole thing uh, and they're running straight off the creosote over there uh, and then over here the reason we've got a tank on the side and no tank on the side is that the ratio of fuels is sort of roughly i think it's five to one so yeah that's the wrong way around so you got five to one which means if we end up getting a lot more oil into here at the moment i'm using the two centrifuges to use to get oil sands or uh oil sands oil uh but once we get real oil we can just pump the oil straight into the distilleries uh and then yeah if it banks up through here i didn't want the oil to run out unevenly so this tank is here to make sure that we've always got five times the amount of light uh, as we do heavy uh, and then it mixes back together we have to put it back in cans mix it because the mixer uses cans uh, or cells rather and then back out and we've got a bunch of diesel so with our new found power uh that brings us to what this episode's actually about now this episode is actually about the electric blast furnace finally able to make one we're going to need a ton of stuff though uh heat proof machine casings 11 of um that's a bunch of invar which is just two irons and a nickel um although we're going to make it in the assembler most likely 16 eu per tick frame box frame box same deal for invar rods um i've actually already started getting the uh getting the bits together that i need to get together uh the other thing we're going to need for this is so we're going to, need to make one of those, a bunch of buses, which are just fairly standard um, things. Maintenance hatch. Wow. One of every tool around an LV machine hull. Hopefully it doesn't use the tools up for that. Uh, uh, muffler hatch, LV energy hatch, which we might actually make three of um, just because yeah, four amps, for th four amps of 32 is enough to run it. But if it's not repaired, I don't know we'll see how we go we'll make the two and if we find we're running out of power and we need to repair it more often then we might get a third one involved uh now the other bit that's a bit tricky is aluminum silicate wool and cupra nickel wire cupra nickel wire not too hard we've got copper we've got nickel um we've got an alloy smelter we can make that pretty easily uh aluminum silicate however is made from sapphire dust green sapphire dust or ruby dust along with silicon dioxide now i have mined a bunch of each of these but i haven't processed them yet in terms of the sapphires um, and rubies well sapphire mainly from twilight forest um, the silicon dioxide however i think one of the easiest ways to get it and that's a fairly expensive way yeah and then we're really expensive uh, centrifuging looks like it's going to be the cheapest either of straight flint dust or glass dust so a couple of extra steps flint's pretty cheap because it's just gravel combined together so we can make a ton of flint um, and get the flint dust of course it's pretty slow because yeah each flint ground up produces four small dust so i'm not quite sure how that yeah i think it makes only tiny piles so yeah i might have to do some working out there i may just use the glass dust it might be actually be faster to do it that way um, by mixing the sand with it anyway not a problem there we just have to go through a bit of process to do that three stacks of that i believe 192 yeah so that's about three stacks uh, and then cooper nickel coil block that's what we're going to use the wool and the wire for and then we're done and that's it so i wanted this episode to be mostly about actually running the um running the blast furnace uh not just building it in terms of um building the blocks so i will run away i'll um Oh, there we go there's my 66 of those so i'll run away i'll get this stuff made um i might pop back a little bit of the way through just to see how we're going with the alumino silicate and stuff like that um and then we'll get it running and we do have 
yeah, I've got four diesel generators here waiting to go to give us the four amps that we need. Although I will probably put a battery box, a battery buffer in as well, um, just to supplement that just in case. Anyway, I'll see you back here in just a bit once I've made a few more pieces. Okay, a bunch of stuff has been done. We have our alumino silicate wool. I have the cupronickel wire. Uh, we have, yes, we have completed the quest. We're now gonna need to make a bunch of these with tin and I have some tin already waiting there. We should be able to just throw that in. Is it gonna? Yep, so it's gonna keep making it with all that in there. While that is cooking, let's race across and set up some of this. So I kind of threw this low voltage battery buffer down here. I'm thinking we'll put the blast furnace here, uh, but that does mean we probably want, well, short cable runs. So that will probably be the best. And then some cable that will just charge a little bit into the buffer because the battery buffer has its own buffer as well. Uh, and now this is the bit I'm not entirely sure about. I'm wondering if I can hook to the top of this. Awesome. So what I'm planning on doing here is using this pump Can I get the pump in there by itself? I can. No pumping yet. Uh, what do we need? We need to right click? No, we need a screwdriver. Import. Hooray. We have some stuff going. And these should be filling. Awesome. Now, I'm not entirely sure that I'll need all four of these. I mean, I've put all four there, but if I need to bust one up um, to use somewhere else and we can survive on three, that'd be cool. Um, this battery buffer here, though, should keep everything going. Now, actually, I'll put the cable in last. Now, let's race over to here. How's our coils going? Look at that, 16. EBF time. All right, so now over here I have stored all the parts. And we want to... Do we want the duct tape? Oh man, let's just grab the loop bag. Wow, 50 coins, that's pretty crazy. Uh, and now... Awesome, okay, so still not... So we need the... Right, so we can do that one another time. Uh, High-speed charcoal. Right, the large there's an upgrade available. The cursor O will not be produced, but the process will speed up dramatically. Who needs the nasty yellow flame oils? Well, I kind of do. Uh, hot netherite brick. Yeah, okay. Advanced cocoa ovens. Awesome. So we might be able to convert some of our cocoa ovens to that in the future. Uh, and now the soldering iron. Right, so we can sort that out later. Now, what we're gonna do is grab, now one, two, so that's gonna go, uh, that's not the right block. Yep, it's still the wrench. Uh, we're gonna put that one there, and we're gonna have that, oh, so we're gonna have that there, that there, that there, that there. We're gonna need, actually, we're gonna need a bunch of input hatches. So we're going to put one there, and one there. You know what? I'm going to need to take a few of these out, actually. So what we're going to end up with is we're going to end up with... Well, we're going to need some oxygen somewhere. So what we'll do is the input hatch and the input bus. So the input bus will throw... Actually, we'll put it on the other side. Input bus on that side. Muffler goes on the top. Output bus. Let's throw the output bus there. So input and output on that side. We'll have our input hatch. 
but we can change it later. So that's there. And that is a spare spot for... Now, this should tell us what we need to go. Uh, what are we doing? I was looking for lithium for the batteries before, but we need to have a... So, bottom layer is input output, bottom layer is energy, the maintenance hatch is also on the bottom. Right, okay, so maintenance hatch on the bottom. Let's just... Ooh, running out of space. All right, let's just put that there for now. And now these things. Oh. Okay, now this is where we're going to actually have a space. Awesome. So this stuff goes. Oops. around the middle like this and then this goes around like that and this bit into the middle yes we have a blast furnace that has formed all right so electric blast furnace pipe is loose screws are loose something is stuck plate is indented circuitry burned out that doesn't belong there i don't know what that means uh Click with tool to repair. Um, we can click with that and nothing happens. Oh no, there we go. We've got a couple of things. So if we right click, no, we need to go in there and then click with that, click with that, and that should. Right, so we just need platings are dented and circuitry burnt out, which is why we need the soldering iron, I'm guessing. Now, platings dented, what's the bet? That is a hammer. Let's grab the hammer. Um, we'll grab all that stuff anyway. And we'll just go over here and click with the hammer. Yep, circuitry burned out. Uh, so that is... Remove the burnout circuits. Um, it's better than duct tape, right? So we should have probably taken the duct tape because it would have helped with that. Uh, we are going to need to make a soldering iron. So it's another lithium battery. I'm going to need to make some lithium. And there's a bolt, some rods, stuff. All right, I'm going to need to process some stuff to get some lithium. So let me just duck away and do that quickly. And I'll be back with a soldering iron. See you in a sec. So we have our soldering iron all made. Uh, we need to recharge it. I wonder if I can recharge it. Oh, I can, just in any old machine. That's fantastic. So let's recharge that. Let's grab out. I've got some lithium. Spodgy mean dust. I need to figure out what to do with. Tiny pile. Oh, look, there's some more. Let's quickly grab that. Awesome, so we've got enough to make another battery as well. Let's just grab that back out. Uh, we don't need that anymore. Let's just take the tools just in case. Uh, that can go back in there. We're nearly full. I'm going to have to start throwing away the excess stone dust, I think. Now, where is my... Look, that's going to be enough. Oh, that's right. We get that. Fine soldering alloy wire. Now that's easy to make, so. Although maybe we need it. Three loot bags, though. Yeah, you know what? I can make some if I need it. Let's go for loot bags again. Alright, cool. Now that has just done that. Now we should. Should be able to grab the soldering iron, click in there. Hmm, circuitry burned out. Circuitry burned out, right, so how do we do that?
requires one soldering material item and 10,000 EU, right? So it does need the material item. Dun dun dun. All right. Now we should have some soldering alloy somewhere. Yep. Let's grab some of that. We'll go for the soldering alloy wire because that's what it tried to give me. Uh, while we're here. And yeah, I really need to get around to doing something with these loot bags. Not entirely sure what though. Maybe an episode where I just open tons of loot bags and make sure I've got a whole pile of chests <laughs> to see what's in them. I'm kind of really wanting to get Bibliocraft to copy that book, the Fortune 3 book, and then see what's in there. We might be close to uh, MV tier potentially, or maybe HV tier for Bibliocraft. So it might be a little way off before we can copy it. Anyway, let's grab the soldering wire. Cool. Done. Oh. Those just went all thin. Wow, all because I'm holding the soldering iron. That's... Pretty cool. Not entirely sure how useful that is, but sure. So if I click there, yeah, there we go. One left click, find soldering uh, wire is done. Hit with a soft minute to restart the machine if it doesn't start. Cool, so we are ready to rock. We are gonna need, of course, our power to the two inputs. This has been uh, draining quite successfully from there. Wow, we have used up a lot of Yeah, okay. Oh, mind you, these things hold 16 each, so eh, not too bad. Not too bad in the end. All right, so now what do we need to do? We need to just figure out what we're going to smelt first. And I think a good candidate is aluminium or aluminium, as you say in the States, which is wrong. <laughs> um, what are we looking for? Not durum. Aluminium ingot. Cool. So we do this in the blast furnace. Nitrogen gas. Right, so it is significantly cheaper with nitrogen gas, but if you don't have nitrogen gas, it is not a problem. Heat capacity 1700K though. Do we have 1700K? Hmm. One way to find out. Now I know it was written in here. Somewhere. Oh, we also need to get the um, fluid hatch in the top layer to collect liquids if we're gonna do stuff with liquids. Input hatch. Ah, oh, it's for liquids. We don't need cool output bus input bus okay so that's there let's hit it to enable right so this is not starting Mm-hmm. Those are all full. We've got our cable. Energy's in. I'm guessing we're just not up to the right temperature yet. So pro nickel base heating because the 1800. So that's fine. That should be enough to heat some of this up. I wonder if we need the space. Not that I would expect this to be the case, but... The 
it's set to enable, but it's not running. Now, I seem to remember having this sort of problem once before. It's a ma ah, there we go. Tooltip shows correctly now. Um, yeah. Electric bathroom is hit with a soft mallet to restart the machine if it doesn't start. I have hit this thing a lot of times now. And it is not starting. All right, let me go away and figure this out because otherwise it's just gonna be a long video of me going hum and ha and figuring out what's going on with this. So I'll be back in just a second, hopefully with an answer. Okay, I am back and there's a couple of things to do. So one of them is, I forgot the circuit completely. So in the recipe for aluminium, in the blast furnace, there's always a circuit there that's needed. So configuration one for full size aluminium dust, uh, configuration nine, if you've got tiny pile and configuration four, if there's four of them, we're only going to use the, um, the big dust. So that's fine. And here's Jane. Now the other thing that I've done over this side um, is I moved it back one block and that is because also if we just push F9 a couple of times it was straddling a chunk boundary uh, and that can sometimes cause things to be a problem. Uh, the other thing that we changed as well is when I first put the muffler hatch in on top um, you might have noticed it didn't have the exhaust there. Um, I just had to use the wrench on that to make sure that the exhaust is facing up. Now we've got that in there. We should be able to put that in there and have it actually work. Hey, there we go. Flicked on straight away. So running perfectly, won't consume the circuit, but it will, it'll run. So let's see how fast are we gobbling up? Yeah, it's using it a little bit, not, not crazy. I'm actually wondering if it'll keep using it even once it gets down here. I don't know quite how this pump will work pumping from the top of the gold tank. I guess we'll see soon. Uh, but that is holding. These are... Yeah, interesting. So we are actually using a tiny, tiny bit of one of the batteries. Two of the batteries. Three of the batteries. All of the batteries. So all of them are going down very slowly. Which is interesting, I wouldn't have thought, like I would have thought these diesel generators would be able to keep up with that. But that's alright, so how long do we have to wait for this? 20 seconds, no, 85 seconds, wow. So 85 seconds for that. Now the way to do it faster would be with some nitrogen gas. Um, we still need the circuit, but it'll be 60 seconds. And the other way to do it... No, that's it. That is the only way to do aluminium. Yeah, okay, so we're just waiting. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! Aluminium ingot. Huzzah! <laughs> awesome. So, we have done everything for our... Everything for our blast furnace. Fantastic. All right, well, I think that is going to be a great place to stop this episode. Um, I'll tidy up these bricks again. Um, oh, look, we've got smoke coming out. Wahoo. And then I need to process some more of this as well. Yeah, so I'm going to leave this here. That is an, a success in my book. It is running and still running. Still producing more stuff. Ah, Galadoran's on as well. Everyone's coming on. All right, well, um, as always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.